today. And uh, we're going to make some soap for charity or something. We're going to rebatch it now. We'll figure out who to give it to later. Maybe we'll give it to you guys. That's what we'll do. And then I've got bar number 11 over here. I'm just stirring. And it's just about, just about clear. And so I'll show that to you in a minute. Anyway, but we've got our two big old turkey cookers, and uh, I got mine at Walmart because around the end of the year, I mean around uh, Christmas Thanksgiving, <coughs> they put these things on sale for $29.99, and um, sometimes they're a little higher. It depends on what part of the country you're living in. So anyway, so I've got three of them. I could have swore I had four, but... Either Meg's cleaned that little booger up and put it somewhere I ain't seen it, or we ain't got four. <laughs> so anyway, so I got three. And uh, and so I'm going to do some rebatching today. And what I do is I put these, I take these coconut oil buckets from Essential Depot and uh, I put my scraps in it. And so what we're doing. Is we're dumping a bucket of soap in here. Now, there we go. Make sure your cord ain't uh, messing with that. You can see the steam rising up out of this thing, and uh, that's because I got it on high. I'm gonna try to do this quick today, but I'm gonna turn it off for the moment. Because uh, we don't want to burn the soap before I do the next step. So hang on, and we'll go get to the next step. I'll be right back. Now, what would speed up the process more than boiling water? So I'm boiling me some water. I said, yeah, we put water in there, but I'm going to boil that stuff so it'll be really super hot, and it'll work even faster to speed up this whole rebatching thing. I got my trusty little uh, thing here to put it on and we're going to carry it over to the counter. All right, so I got my scraps and I had three buckets of Essential Depot coconut oil, the 25 pound bucket. And, uh, and now I saved some of my end pieces and uh, I'm putting them on top and dividing them up amongst them. And the reason being is, is these bigger pieces like this, if you don't cut them up, if you leave them whole like this, it makes real pretty chunks of soap that don't melt in your soap. So I'm dividing the end pieces up amongst them. And those are a few end pieces that went in, but I'm just making sure that that I get it all in there and I divide up them end pieces to some degree. So there we go. Now on the crock pots, if you're using your oh oh oh. If you're using this size crock pot right here, and the crock's not in this one at the moment, but you can sort of mound it up because when it melts, it sinks down. And I would have mounded these up higher. Shoot, this is all the scraps I have. So, therefore, this is all the scraps I'm using. And this is a three cup measure. And the thing, and I'm going to put, pouring this boiling water over this soap to get it started. And I'm using these turkey cookers. And with the crock pot, you got that thick insulation between the heating and the, the heating elements and the soap, but you don't have that here. So I'm gonna try 250 uh, on rebatching and 
to see how that works. And uh, the more water you add, the longer it takes to cure. That's just the way that works. That's how you figure it out. So like in your small crock pot like I was showing you, you can do a half a cup of water and uh, you know just let it take all day or you can use more water uh, and then your soap will have to cure longer on the shelf and I'm going for longer cure time and so I've got I put four scoops in this one that last scoop I didn't get a hold of so that's three, six, nine, twelve cups of water in this great big old turkey cooker. And that's a lot of water for rebatching, let me tell you. And <clears throat> but I also know that I can cook it out because I'm cooking this soap. So I could cook it while I'm cooking. That's so nifty. There we go. That's about the same amount in each one. And um, Put it on 250, put this one on 250, and uh, I don't think I'll need any more water, and I've just got a drop in here, so I'm going to throw that away, and get this out of the way, and uh, I don't, uh, we, just, we just scrape the coconut out of here, so it has a little residue of coconut in the scrap buckets. And that causes the soap to sort of stick around the sides. But, but I love these coconut buckets for this. Um, if you're doing large scale soap production and selling a lot of soap, or even if you're not, that's a perfect place. And uh, there's nothing like uh, Essential Depot's coconut oil. Uh, if you want the very best, you go where they sell the very best. And when they, where they care how much this, what kind of soap they sell. And uh, so anyway, <coughs> so there you go. So now these here will take hours, okay? And you just have to stir them a lot. But we have got them started. We're on 250. Now, when you're cooking soap in these things, you put them on 150. You pop them up just a little bit just to get the light to pop on if the light's turned off at 150 to try to heat your oils, but you cook at 150. This stuff right now, I'm smoky because I turned it up too high and, and I had a customer come in and it literally burnt all the soap. Let me show you. Can you see how burnt that soap is? It literally burnt the soap residue that was in the crock pot. I was trying to just preheat it and one of them had soap in it. And this whole place all of a sudden just got all smoky. I couldn't figure out what in the world was going on. I was running around looking everywhere for a fire. And it was my crock pot. So anyway, there comes another customer. So I'll bring you back as we're rebatching this soap. All right, let's look at it. It's been about an hour, and uh, it seems to be progressing really fast. And I had to turn it down to 150. Uh, it started, uh, see that right there? It started uh, doing that thing it does where it burns the soap around the edges. So let's get us a spoon. I'm going to jack you up. There you go. We're on the road again. There we go. Let me go get a spoon. Doing 
And right now, you see I got soapy water in the bottom. But as this melts, it will incorporate. You have to stir a lot, and it's hard on the muscles. Alright. One down, and I'm going to pop it up just a little bit. See how it fares on 200. See? I'm going to try 200. I had it on, no, that's 175. I had it on 200. It didn't like that. So we'll do the same thing to this one. Pop it up to 175. And now we'll stir it. Same thing. I got liquid soap in there. Put that back on 175. All right. So we'll just keep this thing a uh, keep a watching these things. And uh, I'll keep you posted. So just stay with me. All right, now I went to lunch and I turned it down to 150 for safety sake since I wouldn't be here. And we are turning into soap quickly. Oh, this is awesome. This is just awesome. Um, it is really hard to get this stuff to... stir at this point and you can break a spoon or bend a spoon in a heartbeat now right now it don't work. right now it is fully incorporated with the water and so technically as long as like right there's a little pocket of extra moisture make sure you can see that see that extra moisture in there So at this point, you could stick blend it and chop up some of the bigger pieces if you wanted to. And this this is moldable right now. But I'm going to let it heat just a little bit longer. And uh, and I'm turning it up to 200. I'm going to watch it real close. Um, I just want to give it a little, a little extra burst of heat and moisture. But I gotta watch it close on 200 now. It'll burn in a heartbeat. Alright, let's get you on this second one. Now, see how this one is different? This one has not fully incorporated all the water. And it's probably because this one here might have had less soap in it and I put the same amount of water because it looks like there's less soap so probably what I'm going to do and you can see what would happen if you put extra water so probably what I'll do is I'll take some of the soap over there from the other side but look at that big old piece I tell you that piece is like a bar There's just no need for that to be in there without it being cut up. We don't never put bars in the scrap. That's like a whole bar. 
Look at that. Well, of course it didn't melt. I didn't see that. I don't know what it's doing in there. Look at that. That shouldn't be in there. <laughs> Can you see it? There we go. <laughs> we'll get that out of there. <laughs> Might cut it up and stick it back. But now this is becoming incorporated, but much easier to stir. So yeah, it was more water and less soap in this side. <laughs> I suppose if you had a, I suppose you could weigh it out and try to be more even with it, but I just do it by sight. And I decided I wanted to put a whole bunch of water in here and make it go fast, boiling water. And then if it takes a long time to cure, I ain't having to tend to it, you know? And I'm going to put a couple of spoonfuls. Of this one in here all right and then this one is much thinner so I'm gonna put it up there I'll bring you back where you can see that better one lady thought because my crock pots would slide on this linoleum surface that my surface was dirty. I swear that's clean. These old crocs though, they slide. So, I got here at 10 o'clock, and, um, sorry, I don't know why, but somehow I got water on my phone, so let me dry that off. There's some water over here. Oh, it was moisture off the top of the lid, that's what it was. Anyway, so now I've, I've moisturized my phone, I have to dry that off. Anyway. So now, there goes the stick blender. It was hooked to the cord on the, on the tripod. But I got here at 10 today, and I started working on this really quick. So I'd say by 10.30, I was working. I had this dumped in. And um, it is 12.51. So 10 30, 1 30, 10 30, I mean 10 30, 11 30, 12 30. So it's been like two and a half hours that this has been cooking. And uh, we will stick blend it. But this is the problem with stick blending is your metal stick blender part that fits in here that I've got over there that needs to be washed, <laughs> um, it gets hot. And the heat travels up the shaft and it gets hot because it's in this really hot soap and uh, and so you you'll feel right here you'll feel it start to get hot so if you see that this is getting really hot you've got to stop because you'll burn your motor out because it's getting hot just from running and then you're putting it in this soap that's super hot and the heat's traveling up the shaft to the motor 
so you'll you're double heating the little booger and so I've burned many of these things out especially the cheaper ones um, doing that so be cautious you know stick blend it for a while and then let it rest let it cool off okay so we'll be doing that next I think all right now we're gonna work on that turkey cooker too I got two videos running at the same time okay it's been just a few minutes and you can see already that 200 degrees see it don't sit with the edges so but it did give it a quick heat up see what this one's doing same thing you see how it's starting to get all icky around the edges from being up so hot I'll put it back down on 150 chunks because the chunks give it color and prettiness um, and so I don't mess with that at all I leave the cut the chunks in there and uh, see the variations when you scrape across it all those pretty chunks will be in there and I like that so so but we'll let it heat up just a little bit longer but we're back down on 150 Okay, so I'll have to go see what the time it is, but this looks really good. We've got a nice steam going up. Our soap is more soapy looking. Our chunks are falling apart, and we have definitely still got chunks. So we're doing good all right now we'll do the other one I'm going to scoop all of this over into this because i got two different textures. This is a little thinner than this one over here. And I think there's room to pile it all up together and that way it would cure out at the same rate. See, this is much more ploppy and this is thick. See? So I think I'll scrape all this into this and try to stir it up and make it one consistency. And... Uh, and everything and but before I do that I'm gonna hit it with stick blender just a little bit okay and so basically we're just trying to uh, alleviate the bigger chunks with the stick blender So like right there is a big one. I 
There's a big one. But I don't mind the big chunk. But that's basically how to do it. I pretty much, I leave all these big chunks in here because I think it looks really pretty when it's cut. It's sort of like embeds, you know? So, I'm going to work on trying to figure out how to get all this soap over here. In a timely fashion. See what y'all are saying. Whoop. There we go. So now we can pull the thicker soap up into thinner soap and that way all this stuff will cure out at the same rate. stick a lid on it. I'm going to put it on 150. Just let it sort of take some time heating and incorporating. And I'll bring you back. Okay guys, our soap is all one consistency now. And I like to leave the big chunks, but now you can try to stick blend them out if you want to. Especially if you're trying to fix a batch that messed up. Um, and everything and then here's what I do this soap already has the right amount of essential oil in it reheating it diminishes that to some degree but what I do is I sniff it and I smell a floral that's what I'm getting when I smell it yeah yeah it did turn to read okay so I decided lemon and lang lang would be real nice so I'm using Essential Depot Lemon. I'm putting two tablespoons of lemon in there for the moment. And two tablespoons, I thought the Lang Lang would, would complement the floral that's already there. And we're just wanting to add a little, just a little to spice it up because it's already got essential oils in it. And I've got this thing so full, I'm gonna have to really work to get all this 
to get it blended. It's gonna be a bear. So it'll be sort of like a citrus mist with an exotic lang lang smell. Boy, I'm making a mess. Smells nice. Just a nice floral citrus. Alright, so now we'll start to put it in our molds. And uh, when I make this, I always fill it up pretty full. See if you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, y'all can see.
And of course, you know, you've got to get this down to 160 and y'all didn't see me checking the temperature and that's my fault. I should have checked the temperature when y'all was watching. Okay. But before you ever add essential oils or fragrance to your soap, make sure you get it down below 160. bring you back to see let you see how many I get all right guys I have been working on these things and I've got six filled and I've went to this scoop you have to aim it can be a beast but Okay guys, uh, I'm having major issues with my battery. With the old one, I had several batteries uh, and I could, I could charge them up and have them all ready. But with this one, I just have one and I've just got to buy another one that's all there is to it. But then I also have to get a, another charger. Uh, this one, it just charges inside the camera. So anyway, so this is our Heinz 57 soap that will be used in some fashion for charity. Um, and I have it is so soft I have let it air out for two days um, and it is like so soft I could just put my finger right through it so what I'm doing is is now that I've cut it I'm separating it and I'm picking it up whoa that's like bread yes like this and plopping it down and then where it's aired already see it's touchable and so then we can just take it off one it's bar like gummy. at a time like that I'm thinking like this what all did you put in that one it's a rebatch and I used a lot of water to make it rebatch fast and and it does this it causes it to be sort of like cold process soap so see now that I've got this done it's already adhering to itself and so you just sit and you have to twist them off so I want you to hurry up and come get these oh. uh, hurry up, hurry up. cuz I don't know if this was a good idea <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a better idea than taking them than taking them off one at a time when they're all sticky but, but you can only handle them on their edges okay see I don't know if I should do that <laughs> I am not the gentlest of supper. I know. So maybe, 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 maybe I will assist you. I'm sort of thinking I won't have to run these back through the, the machine again. <laughs> uh huh. God, this needs to okay. I knew it was coming. Earlier I told him that beware of I like the way this works better than. I don't know about as far as soaps, but as far as doing this, I like the working with this better than the fats. Oh, the coconut oil? Yes. Coconut oil is so awesome. I like the way it feels better. Uh, I know y'all guys want to see. Uh, and what she's doing is she's taking the coconut oil and putting it in the containers in two pounds per container and, uh, and scooping it in there. And then she's weighing it to make sure she's got two pounds. And say hi to you two. Hey. <laughs> and that's Jessie. And now this is my daughter who came to Hello. stay with me today. Total surprise. Yep. Oh, and it's helping me. And we so needed it, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yep. And we've not been too overdone with customers today. So it's not been too terribly bad. Take these and these and those. If are they here. will fit on there. This is 32. Whoop, the thingy fell off. 32. Put it between two of the soaps. <laughs> you don't have to get it. Put it between. There. Okay, they can't see what we were talking about. Paper get flying off. The air conditioner was blowing right on it. This is our 
bar number 20, which is the essential exterminator. It's, it's like sandpaper for your feet and elbows hmm. in a soap. I know, they're seeing my butt, aren't they? And this Possibly. is... Possibly. This is our lotion bar. Everybody Isn't that this? beautiful? And I put the the black African soap and the number 10 and number 8 in there. Mm -hmm. um, And that's number 16, right? Uh -huh. I don't I know said, if you should cut any more of that, Mom. I think <laughs> you should just let it dry some more. Do you think you should let it dry some more? Yeah. All right, well, go take those away. Just leave it there. Leave it alone. And, and, and I'm going to keep trying to even to separate this stuff. I don't know. This cute little swirl this is causing may give it a real pretty finish. Another day before I, I cut them. <laughs> yeah. I bet you when you get home, your husband's gonna rub your hands and go, mmm. Mm -hmm. So nice. Ugh. I know I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna get hugs because it smells good. All this soap, my It feet. is nice going home and smelling good, ain't it? Uh huh, I'm gonna be smelling good. You're like some people, they go home from work and see. they smell. I tell you, nobody's going to want to borrow. Oh, that's so pretty. That's where some of the pieces. This uh, got extra melty. Usually it has more pieces in it, but there towards the end it got crazy here in the store, and so it heated up longer than it usually does. Oh, but it smells good. Bridget, have you smelt it? No, I have not. you got to come smell it. Okay. Pick it up by the ends. Don't pick it up by the middles. Of course. We don't want my fingerprints to be leaving. My nose is almost dead, but it got from all the good. scents in here. Well, yeah, I've got my face planted over those soaps over there, putting them on the bottom shelf. And so I'm getting, I'm getting number nine, number sixteen right up my nose. Number sixteen right up the nose. Yes, which is a melody of different smells as well. My nose is just going to humble the overload. Shutting down. Tired. This is just amazing. A lady came in early today and she said, you know, you can smell how good it is, even mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. We're potent. Potent. Okay. So you're potent, huh? Yep. Uh-huh. I need some citronella. Some citronella? Okay. Nope, she didn't pause. Mother, you didn't pause YouTube. Huh? Still recording. Oh, I <laughs> forgot, guys. Here, watch Bridget. Okay, you can watch me put up soap. So, unfortunately, we don't uh, make the soap capsules anymore. I kind of missed that. Take the lid off of it. Get the on button. Okay, I'm gonna have a little identifier there under one of the soap blockies so it don't fly away. Two is at the two, right? So that Mama knows. You'll have to let me know what it is. Mom probably will always know exactly what everything is. How come we don't make the soap castles anymore? Soap castles? Oh, yes. Remember the soap castles? Yes, those were fun. I know. 
I got pictures of our soap castles. Mm hmm There used to be one little girl that used to watch your videos just to see the soap castles. Really? Yeah. You remember you got a message from her? Gosh, my memory from is her so mom. poor. Because she likes my soap castles. Mm-hmm. I about got the hang of this now. To think with that last one, I'm going to do an honorary soap castle. I think I'm going to leave it on this table overnight. Yep. To uh, chill. I'd even, I'd even move it underneath that air conditioner vent. Like move the table. Mm hmm. To where the air blows right on it. Mm hmm. Might help a little bit. Maybe I'll hook up a fan. That would work too. I don't think y'all are going to fit that. Put them over here. Can I make this one into a soap castle? No, we better not do soap castles. I hadn't done those in so long, but we, uh, I can't even remember how I used to do them. We would zigzag the soap bars. Yeah, I guess pretty soon I'm going to have so much soap. <laughs> You're going to have to. That I'll have to make soap castles. Yeah, mm -hmm. we wrap these a special way. Yep. All right, now we'll that we'll come up her with out. a better, She's trying with, to start working with more Saturday. drying solutions, more right. shelves. You got one? Mm -hmm. And we need this one. Yeah, and we're going to spell it C-I-T-C-I-T-R-O-N-E-L-L-A, and it is $2 mm -hmm. an ounce, so that's two four dollars because you got two ounces. I did a $2 class. All right. And then it's a dollar for her bottle, and she brings her bottle back, so that would make the grand total of five dollars from what she's got. And then you peel this off. And now, if you've got the essential oil on the bottle, oh, I can use soap on you, you, you make that go over here with your finger again. And then that goes in this little thing here. Then you always caution people never live in a hot, a hot car, sit or sit in direct sunlight, and essential oils can be still in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. She got this. Oh, no. You yeah. have yeah. yeah. huh? yeah. 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 that right bag. Huh? You got that right bag. Are you sure? Oh, good. Awesome, right? Except for that black soap. Huh? We forgot the black soap. Yeah, we got to cut that after we do this. Well, soapy. I need to wash my hands with no soap. Because there's a residue. Here. Start separating these and sitting them out here on this table. Okay. I got to get them before I can get that number two. And I think I, this is going to have to be washed before I can get that number two. Uh -huh. The bottom, look at the bottom. The bottom leaves a little. That's okay. Just come over here and help yeah. me these off. I'm coming I'm, up I know, I'll set two of them over at you to wipe and then you divide them. Okay. And set them around, and you can mix and match. Like right over there, there's a hole. Oop, I left you with the cutting. Hmm, that one actually just came apart like normal. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna have to write a note. Don't forget to charge for the bottom. <laughs> that's what I always want to forget is that bottle, you know. Mm-hmm. And all the bottle, all the bottles without a dropper are oh, are a dollar, and all the bottles with the dropper are two dollars. And then a bottle that's a roller ball is two dollars. Okay. That one looks like it's doing better. Yes. Well, you're breaking off one at a time. Mm-hmm. Do you want to start taking those out? Yeah. You can do them, do them right there on that end, and then she can easily clean that up if it's in her way. Because we can't get activated charcoal over here on these sides. Can we? Absolutely not. All right. So we've done this soap for charity. We rebatched using boiling water. And we um, came out with very moist soap, very similar to cold process. Uh, it will take probably four to six weeks for this to cure. But I had the time. I had the space on the shelf. And it's for charity. I don't know what I'll do with it exactly yet, but we will find out. I will Ooh. discover. Here's another piece with an end on it. And hey, uh, hey, what about those shoe boxes? And it was much faster in the in the what you call it the rebatching and the amount of time it took to do it.
because of the fact that we started with boiling water and we started with more water. But I don't know, I think maybe I could have done a little bit less water. What about those shoe boxes that go to Christmas? Huh? The shoe boxes for Christmas. Remember? They go to Africa. Yeah. Never know, you might stick one in the shoe box. There you go. So anyway, so that's about our basic synopsis. Um, doing rebatching using boiling water. I think I used a little bit too much, although it really doesn't matter because I've got plenty of time for this soap to cure. And um, it's not soap I've got to have, you know, customers are not ordering it, so it's got plenty of time to sit over there and wait for it to be done and everything. Smells good, and we'll find some use for it before you know it. All right. Thanks, guys. Remember, you can go to my website and buy soap at www.essential-soaps.com. E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L dash soaps s o a p s dot com and you can find free soaping recipes and wonderful soaping information including my link to essential depot and thank you so much for using that if you do at uh www.kimberlymacnut.com k-i-m-b-e-r-l-y-m-c-n-u-t-t -E -E all right bye everybody oh and please like this video thanks <laughs>